Hey guys, um, in this video we're going to look at how you can use AVID Max to trim your videos, um, cut a portion of your video, uh, multiple portion of your videos uh, out. Um, you can use this technique to kind of edit your video where you want to remove the part of the video that you don't want it to be in. Um, yep, let's get started. Um, I got this clip here from my recent Prince of Persia gameplay. I'm gonna just load it into AVID Max. All right. So I would like to uh, basically do a few things on this video. Um, first of all, I'm gonna show you how you can cut a portion out from the video. Um, so let's take a look at that. Just gonna see to a place where I was playing and I kind of died. I don't want that in this video. So if you see here, if I go further from here, sorry, go back. Basically, I want to erase this embarrassing moment. What I would like to do is, let's see, when I come back, I want to start from here again. So let's go back to the point where you want to start cutting the video. This is where I want to start cutting the video. Uh, so what you would do is, you need to do, use these two buttons, this A and B that you can see here. So this is set start marker, and this is set the end marker. So this will, cho this will choose a portion of your video, which you can either get out of the video, and or you can basically keep that part and remove the rest of it. So let's see. Here I select this one. So let's go. So you can use this. Uh, use this. Go to next keyframe and the previous keyframe to kind of go quickly to the next or previous keyframe. So let's go to the next place or let's do Prince dies. Oops, gone. And then it starts again. So then you say yep, end mark. So this is the clip that I didn't want in this video, right? So what you would do is basically you use Control X to kind of get rid of this video, cut it out of the video. Or the other thing is that in cases where you want to keep that video, like for instance, you have a longer video and you want to cut into the shorter um, important parts, maybe you had, a, you had an enemy kill and you want to record that and upload it. So let's say it's that. So first I'm going to show you how you can kind of get this out of the video as a separate video. So you say save video. So I'm just going to choose Maxter as MP4. Say so save video. Prince of Persia for Garden Sands. Prince dies. This is done. Let's go back and quickly take a look. Oops, sorry. How did I say that? Back and print the first here, save it into the wrong folder. There we go. And there you go. He'll be planning the way out here. Go further, go further, and he's dead. Alright. Now let's get this out of the video. Press Ctrl X, and there we go. As you can see, that part is gone. So you can do this multiple times. Once you're done, uh, go further in the video. If you have some other parts, other portions you want to cut out, use the same technique. One thing you need to keep in mind is that always uh, cut or trim 
on basically keyframes as you can see here otherwise sometimes if you try to do that let me see so for example if i do this here if i don't go to a create keyframe and i just seek to this frame and try to cut it Let's see this was okay uh, maybe let's try this one Usually what happens is that if you don't cut it on keyframes, um, the AVI Dmux will tell you that um, your last version of the cut is not uh, on the keyframe and it might have some seeking issues when you load the video in the video player. So yeah, if you see that error box coming up, uh, you just need to make sure that you are on a key, you are putting a marker on the keyframe. That's it. Cool. And you, you can use the same method to kind of trim the video from uh, both hands. So you could possibly start here and you can say, you know, I don't want to, I want to start from this do it, and just control X and you're done. Same thing for the end of the video. Awesome. I hope you guys uh, learned something. Um, yeah, feel free to subscribe for the new videos. And yeah, like. Thank you guys.